What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So you all might be wondering that why I was like not being able to make videos for quite a few days. So the reason behind this is like my exams were going on so I was not able to make videos and I'm very sorry that I was not able to inform you guys but now I'm back. So as you saw in the video's title, today's video will be covering about some dark points about keeping fancy goldfish. So if you are thinking to buy any fancy goldfish, please consider these points. So without wasting any time, let's get back to our video. Okay, so the first point is actually a very harsh and bitter truth for many fancy goldfish keepers including me but the thing is that breeding fancy goldfish is not at all ethical so you all might be thinking why but if you look carefully like there's nothing to look carefully all the fancy goldfish breeds or and and chu and etc all have round bodies round like an egg or some higher quality breeds are even more round like a tennis ball so if you think it rationally fish, fishes are all streamlined they have streamlined bodies so that they can easily swim in water but just because they look cute and in order to increase your sales and increase your business you are taking the fish disfiguring its body and making its body into an absurd ball like thing and pe just because people find it cute so that's actually inhumane because you're taking the fish disfiguring its body its streamlined feature is quite lost and it they look like tennis balls actually and that is why they have quite a difficult time swimming properly in the water they also suffer from swim bladder disorder and many such diseases and all these diseases are just because of the disfigured bodies so if you think it in this way like breeding fancy goldfish is really not ethical so the second point or the second dark truth about goldfish keeping is that well many of us are familiar that goldfish are literally poop factories sorry if i'm being like quite frank but that's the truth like since goldfish don't have stomach their intestines do all the work they eat a lot they will eat a lot and they will produce a lot of waste and these waste can quickly turn your tank into means tank water into a soup of ammonia nitrate well i'm being really frank but that is what happens if you keep fancy goldfish you need to have proper filtration system you need to have the water clean otherwise they will get fin rot and ammonia poisoning etc so the third point about keeping fancy goldfish or the third dark truth is that low choice of tank mates like if you keep fancy goldfish you will have a very low choice of tank mates since they are very slow moving and clumsy fish you can't keep them with fast moving fish you can't keep them with common goldfish comet goldfish and many other things otherwise the competition will increase a lot you also can't keep them with very tiny fish that will fit inside their mouth they will get eaten and with aggressive fish you know what is going to happen the goldfishes will all get bullied their their, their fins will be torn they will yeah, he's suffering I know I even keep an angel fish but it's just an experiment and till now apart from a little bit of fin nipping and that's also quite rare they, apparently there's no such problem or no such aggressive behavior but as you know I had to return my male angel fish because he was being way too aggressive so this was the point that you can't keep many tank mates with goldfish and since they are like cold water fishes if you live in a tropical country it's okay but if you live in cold countries you can't really keep tropical fishes with goldfish 
that's the problem in case of tropical countries goldfishes are already adjusted to higher water temperatures so it's fine for them and what can be another point yes another point is you can't keep plants with fancy goldfish or any goldfish actually because especially fancy goldfish they are very clumsy swimmers they can get stuck between large leaves of plants and if the leaves are small they will literally tear them they will tear the leaves they will eat it even my plant like you may be wondering why its leaves are not that big or why am i not showing the plant anymore because like they literally ate all the big leaves and new leaves are growing and they are also like snacking on some of them so you can't really have a planted tank if you have keep goldfish and if you keep them like you don't keep them in pots they will simply uproot them and the plants will die as simple as that so yeah these five points were the five dark truths about keeping fancy goldfish so if you are like buying a fancy goldfish please consider these points and if you are a beginner like in fish keeping i would suggest buy some easier fish before like betta fish or some tetras maybe and then go for goldfish but yeah if you like think oh that's okay i can manage then please like do whatever you want like you can buy fancy goldfish they are really fun fish to keep they have a lot of personality they are very friendly i also keep them but please consider these five points before buying a fancy goldfish so that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye